This week, I'm taking you along on a journey through the Great Lakes aboard the Lee A. Tregurtha, one of the oldest, most celebrated shipping vessels in the industry. You've watched as the crew loaded 26,000 tons of iron ore into the belly of the ship, and we traveled from Marquette to the Sioux Locks. You've heard from the crew on board about the work and about balancing the job with families and friends. We've taken you on a tour of the engine room, and we've gotten an up-close look at the galley for a taste of the food. This morning, we continue our journey from Marquette to Burns Harbor, Indiana, moving through the Sioux Locks, and the ship gets a new captain. We reached the Sioux Locks around 3 a.m., about 15 hours after we left Marquette. And believe it or not, boat traffic was heavy. As we waited for our turn to move through the pole lock, you could feel the importance of this waterway. Every boat carrying important cargo, raw materials, vital to the American economy. If the pole lock goes down, 90% of Great Lakes shipping is shut off. Because only 10% can use the MacArthur lock because it's so small. Nearly three football fields in length and carrying 26,000 tons of iron ore in her belly, the Lee A. Tregurtha needs a little extra space and patience. We're being lowered from Lake Superior to the St. Mary's River. The system works with just gravity using 22 million gallons of water. When all is said and done, the entire process from waiting for our turn to pulling out of the lock takes close to two hours. It requires all hands on deck navigation from the pilot house, ropes and winches from the deckhands. It's hard to believe it's the middle of the night. But this trip through the Sioux Locks is a bit more significant, as Captain Nick will get off the boat and head home to see his wife and kids after almost 60 days at the helm. And a new captain will be coming on board. It's a good feeling knowing that at the end of the day, I've, I've done my job. I've been here for two months. I've moved the cargo. All my guys are still here. No one's been hurt. There's been no accidents. And I, and I get to go home and I, I get to enjoy, enjoy that time with, with my wife and kids. Captain Nick says he's been able to balance life on the boats with a family in large part because of his wife. She is there all the time, you know, and it's, it's on her when I'm gone. She really is the glue that holds this whole, <laughs> this whole production together. Time home is time to recharge to let go of the heaviness of keeping a ship, her crew and her cargo safe. My job is to move this boat. It's to move cargo. But the most important thing that, that I do that I pride myself on is, is making sound decisions. I Not only does my life get affected, but the 22 other people on board are affected by my decisions. Not only them, but also their families too. So it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big burden. It weighs a lot. It's a quick on and off as the boat continues its move through the locks. And just like that, the ship now has a relief captain for the next 30 days, Captain Jack. We leave, we would call pass down notes. And so all the pertinent information that I might need to know what's going on in the boat right now is, is written down uh, for me. And it's right to work for Captain Jack. He begins navigating the St. Mary's River while most of the crew heads back to sleep for the night, or morning. It's hard to keep it all straight. Uh, the challenge is more of a, uh, what am I walking into on this boat? What are the, the specific situations that are going on on this boat right now? Now, unfortunately, traveling the St. Mary's River at night doesn't allow for great video. Remember, we're on Lee A. Tregurtha's time. And so while I was looking forward to seeing the sights, there just wasn't much to see. Those moments would come at sunrise. So the actual lowering into the St. Mary's River took about 20 minutes. It's a 21 foot drop, so about a foot a minute. Traveling the St. Mary's River was the quietest I saw the boat get. The crew, myself included, used the hours to rest. I learned on the Tregurtha, you have to take those moments when they come. Moments to recharge and prepare for the next day. Tomorrow, we finish our trek from Marquette to Burns Harbor, Indiana, and we experience a trip highlight traveling under the Mackinac Bridge.